Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. I'm really excited to share a new line of products that we're calling VFX Elements. And this is volume one, Destruction Debris, with 25 different ground bursts and mini explosions. All right, so what is special about VFX Elements? Well, this is not stock footage. This is a fully three-dimensional asset. And not only do we have the geometry, but we also have particles and we also have a VDB. So all three of these elements work together. You can use this in any 3D application, not just Cinema 4D, and you can use this with any render engine. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use this in Octane. When you purchase the product, it's going to give you 25 different download links, and you don't have to download all of them at once. Just pick the one that you think you're going to use. You're gonna have those links forever, so you can go back and download the other ones later. And you do have two different choices, high res or low res. So we also uh, include this scene right here, which is an octane scene that's gonna get you started. And you can see that we have all the assets in here. They're already lit and textured and everything's kind of set up so you can quickly get started. All right, so taking this starter scene, let's say that we wanted to use Destruction 04. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So once we unzip uh, Destruction 04, you can see that we have chunks, we have particles and we also have a folder which has all of our VDB files in it. So let's start with chunks. We're gonna open that. And this is an ABC file, so this can be used in any um, 3D application. We'll just hit okay. Uh, make sure that you have the scale set to meters. All right, so we have our chunks. Let's take the texture tag from our previous chunks and drag it onto the new one, and then we'll delete the old one. So you can see that we have our chunks over here, and we do have a texture on them. We also have a texture tag here. If you double click it, you can see that you can texture the top of these chunks and the insides of them different with this uh, texture tag if you want to. Next, let's bring in our VDB. So we have a VDB volume right here, and under the file, let's go ahead and find our Destruction 04 folder and we have this Destruction 04 high res. You can take a quick look here and it says that we have 72 frames. So we'll go ahead and uh, open that. And if you have a new version of Octane, you can just click calculate for the frames. Make sure you change the start to one though. And uh, if you have an older version, just make sure you change the end to however many frames were in that folder. And then digits needs to be at four. And then one last thing, uh, if you're starting from scratch, it's gonna bring in your VDB as a meters, but actually we wanna change it two clicks up to hectometers and then the scale will work. So make sure you are hectometers. And let me turn off this octane scatter and the particles really quick. And let me just fire this up. All right, so we have our chunks now, but we also have this wispy kind of uh, VDB cloud here. And the nice thing about this is there's so much data that you can use in here to, uh, to modify this. If you go to your volume, you can go to the volume medium and change the density, you can kick that up. You can change the volume step length and you can make this a very thick fog and you can change the color to whatever you want. You could even add a ramp to this. There's just so many ways to customize this. So that's the VDB. All right, so let's undo that and let's turn off the VDB and let's talk about the particles. We'll pause our render. All right, so the particles, we're gonna go to File, Merge, and we'll find that particles file right here. So one thing you really wanna keep an eye on is it's going to bring it in as particle geometry, but I couldn't find a way to make that work since it seems like Octane doesn't really recognize particles very well. So the workaround is to uh, bring it in as a polygon object, hit okay. All right, so we have our 3D um, particles here, and all we have to do is clone a sphere onto each of these particles. And we're gonna do that using Octane Scatter. So just simply bring an Octane Scatter into your scene. Let's delete the old particles really quick. So we have an octane scatter with a sphere inside that's set to a very small radius. And all we have to do is uh, set the distribution to vertex and then drag the particles into that surface. And now what's gonna happen is, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but there's actually a sphere being cloned onto each one of these particles. And if you have a small sphere, it's going to represent maybe a grain of sand or some dust. So let's go ahead and fire up a render really quick. And you can see that we have some really nice looking dust particles now. And you can change that with this texture if you wanted to change that to any other color. Uh, you can do that in here. You can see that we're able to customize. You can even add a gradient to those particles. Octane has this weird thing where even before the simulation starts, it's going to be cloning the particles. It's a bit of a bug in Octane. So here's how we're gonna get through it. Let's go to the beginning of the animation. And you can see that 
even though there shouldn't be an animation here, you can see the particles. So what we're gonna wanna do is just keyframe these off. So we're gonna toggle forward until we see the animation start and you should see it click into gear. When we hit the frame, it looks like frame 14. So on frame 13, actually looks like frame 12. All right, so on this frame, we want the particles to be on. So we'll make a keyframe for visible and editor in that octane scatter. We'll go back one frame and then we'll change this to off. And then what happens is when we're rendering out those frames before the animation starts, we won't see those particles. So that's a quick work around that. All right, let's turn our VDB and the chunks back on. And now we have our VDB, we have our particles, we have our chunks, and you can see what a powerful asset this is. It's fully three-dimensional. You can use all of these elements or some of these elements. You can uh, texture these any which way you want. You can play with the VDB settings. This is gonna respond to the lights in your scene, the HDRI and uh, you can use this in any 3D application and any render engine. So that is why I'm so excited about VFX Elements. This is VFX Elements Volume 1, Destruction Debris, and keep your eyes open where you have a lot more of these planned to come out in the near future. Thanks for checking out Pixlab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.